Hey everybody, welcome back to Cook Serve Delicious! We are in day 7, nearly complete with our first week of the Zero Star Cafe, so things going pretty well. We unlocked recently the ability to purchase the dishwasher, which is something I really don't think I can go without buying. I know it's going to be spending the majority of the money that we have here, but it is entirely worthwhile. Cuts the time that you need to spend washing dishes in half, so instead of, I believe it's, uh... I think it's usually six dishes that you have to clean, and I think it cuts down to three, so... Very, very nice stuff there. And uh, we can actually afford one food upgrade as well here. We can go ahead and upgrade the fried chicken to uh, an $8 menu price and it includes the new blend of premium frozen ready fried chicken. Might be hard to tell with a fried outer shell, but trust us, this new upgrade of chicken will have your customers paying more than they would for the current chicken you have available. For no reason. Just don't question it, you asshole. Just buy it. There we go. There we are. That's what we needed to do. We also got some food rot going on, so we're going to go ahead and have to switch off the... Uh, the fish and the lasagna, and of course we're going to replace one of those with the fried chicken upgrade that we just got. And we're going to go ahead and throw the pasta back on there as well, because that seems like a valid option too. So that gets our buzz back up to about 25%. Things are going okay here. I know we're going to get a bit more buzz later on in the day due to some afternoon delight, as well as a bit of uh, detractor loss due to the smell of the uh, fish. Or no, wait, sorry, the fish is gone, but we do have the beer still in, in effect, so that's our main detractor at the moment. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and start off with day eight. I think we're good to go, man. Okay, we're gonna make a bunch of money. Of course, we got Crazy Dave's bet going on as well. We only need 15 perfect combos in a row, which should be pretty easy to do, to, uh, to accomplish. I mean, we've been doing that. Been doing that in our sleep, man. Crazy Dave ain't no thing. Crazy Dave ain't no thing. We got, we got this shit. We got some 9 a.m. beers going out in full swing. We're gonna be, we're gonna be rock solid today. In fact, I'm feeling a perfect day, man. I'm feeling like with this upgrade of fried chicken, although the fried chicken upgrades tend to uh, tend to make things a bit more difficult because uh, it, it is the it is one of the longest. Let me rephrase. It takes the longest to it takes the longest amount of time to cook fried chicken. God damn it! Why couldn't I say that out loud? There we go. Uh, but we got, I mean, we got salad, we got beers, it's, nothing's really gonna be that complicated, and, uh, pasta, of course, is gonna be maybe a bit more difficult as well, but I, I still think we'll be just fine as things go along here. And we don't really need to modify the fried chicken at all, so it's a pretty simple thing as long as we can just pay attention to the time of the cook. Should be just fine. And I think the, uh, I think the overall cost of the upgrade is gonna pay for itself pretty quickly, uh, by way of the upgraded menu price. I don't want to have to do the math on it, but just trust me that it'll be just fine. <laughs> just, just don't make me do difficult things, come on. That's just ridiculous. Alright, whole bunch of pasta menu options going out the door. We've got mushrooms, tomatoes, greens, and carrots. Yum, yum, yummity, dum, dum, dum. Chicken and bacon is K and B, I gotta keep remembering that one. That will, uh, that will save me a whole bunch of time if I can remember what that one is. Red sauce, peppers, mushrooms are you, and then spinach and onions, there we go. Get that raw pasta boil in here we are. We are closing in on Crazy Dave's bed, actually. In fact, with this beer, we will have it, so there we go. Problem solved. Taken care of. We just earned ourselves a big, fat, hearty 300 bucks, which is fantastic. Red sauce, meatballs, chicken, and bacon. There's that order done. Taking a little bit longer to cook this fried chicken than I thought it would, so that's starting to worm me a little bit, but I think we're going to be just fine. Still have our perfect day intact. Things are going pretty well. Going to flush that toilet. We still haven't even had to do some dishes yet, so... I haven't had the opportunity to take advantage of our beautiful new dishwasher, but I'm sure we will pretty soon. Mushroom, I'm remembering mushroom is on you now. That's going to help me out. Uh, red sauce, bacon is B, and then peppers are P. There we go. We're going to boil this chicken real fast. Hopefully don't burn that pasta. That would be really bad. There we go. Red sauce and meatballs is M. Good stuff. All right, now we have our first dish-making opportunity. And there we go. Just as easy as that. We're gonna have the same, uh, the same kind of upgrade hopefully pretty soon with the trash compactor as well, but that one's not really as bad, I don't think. Usually doesn't hinder progress too much. Going pretty good here so far though. Of course the, uh, the pasta holding things up a touch, but I'm starting to, I'm starting to grow a bit more familiar with the ingredients list for that one. And I need to start paying a bit more attention to the names of the, uh, or names of the recipes as well. Not as important, I don't think, for salad, because salad, I know the majority of them, and, you know, like, it's the, it's the B-O-M-G stuff. Uh, all the ingredients combined into four different categories makes it a lot simpler, so... It's not so bad in that, in that aspect of the gameplay. 
I should get a tip for flushing the toilet. Come on. Somebody help me out here. Leaves, greens, and carrots. Leaves, broccoli, carrots. That's what I see on there. Look at that. That's gross. Needs sauce, man. Salad is just a plate for sauce. Or dressing, even. Everyone knows that. People are crazy here. People are crazy here in Sarasota Towers. And they eat at a zero-star cafe called The Cook Served Delicious. A strange man works behind there. And it looks like his skin is zipped onto his body as though he were wearing some sort of human suit. We'll have emerging details of this story at six. Alright, rush hour number two. Let's see if we can make it through. I'm gonna assume... That was a rhyme. That was beautiful. I'm gonna assume that if we can make it through this rush hour unscathed, we're gonna be able to have a perfect day today, which would be fantastic. I could certainly use that $250 bonus, so I'm gonna be, uh... Trying my, trying my heart out to not butcher things here. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of pasta and chicken orders at the same time, of course, which would be expected for the level of difficulty we should be realizing here in the, uh... Here in the rush hour. All right, cheese sauce and onions is oh. I just gotta confirm that for myself. Pasta should be ready and prepped up. Same cheesy onion pasta. Thank you very much, dishwasher, for making that a very simple task right there. Thank you, thank you kindly. Ranch and cheese, cheesy leaves for you, my friend. There we go. Basket done. Another one on the way. We are nearing 50 perfect combos, which would be an awesome day for me. Pour that beer up. One fluid motion. Beautiful stuff. Ranch and cheese, and then one more ranch and cheese. The kids delight. Apparently, those are two different menu options, but they're the exact same ingredients. That's kind of weird. That's kind of bizarre to me, but oh well. There's that 50 combo, and here comes 51. We are going just above and beyond the call of duty today. Bacon, croutons, onions, and peppers out the door for you. Oh, look, we got a buzz boost as well. Very nice. Check out that photo. I just want to dance. Mm-hmm. Get that buzz up. Yes, sir. I wonder if we can, uh... So, let's see. 50, 30, 45. We need to get up to 60 to, uh... Beat Dave's expectations by 400%. That would be pretty awesome. Our cheesy meat and pasta, I believe, is cheese and meatballs. Or, uh, sorry. It's gonna be... I think it's, like, white sauce and meatballs, I wanna say. I might be wrong. Let's find out. Uh, cheese sauce, meatballs... Oh, that's the meatballs, chicken, and bacon. Okay, so I gotta remember that. The MKB. It's pretty simple. Should be able to do it. Alright, we only need three more orders. Three more orders for that 60. That would make me happy. Come on. Come on, give it to me. Give me damn. Just two more. Two more. Just give me two quick beers. Let me see it. Let me see it. Come on! Oh, 58. Alright. Oh, nice. There we go. Right before the end of the day. I love you. Alright, just cheese sauce. Just cheese on noodles. Alright then. Plaid jacket, you're my man. If only you had one more of you to bring into the shop. Alright, obviously you don't want to ruin this right at the end of the day, so we're just going to guarantee that I give him the perfect order, and there it is. 59 perfect combos and a perfect day complete! Four dollars in tips throughout that entire day, and I didn't screw up a single order. That's kind of... it's kind of sad. Oh well. Do what we can, I guess. Alright. Got all the requirements but the 20 days of service, so we're just going to keep on trucking. A one crazy Dave's bed for three hundred dollars? What a dumb bet that was, indeed. There's six hundred board bucks in my day. Got a weather alert for tomorrow, so we should see a, an increase in sales. Two hundred fifty dollar bonus from Chef Risotto for the perfect day. Got another active menu slot unlocked as well, which means we can place an extra food or drink in my active menu. Does not mean that we have uh, one, two, three, four, five now in the main game. It simply means that we have another thing available to make through the course of the day. We've also unlocked the garbage service, which is fantastic. I might give that upgrade as well. That cuts down the uh, the garbage loading time in half. Maybe not necessary. In fact, I might uh, prioritize some food upgrades over that. We'll see what we got going on, though. So, our active menu is still about the same. We could actually throw one more thing on, as I mentioned before, and that does not affect my buzz, so I very well could just throw on the lasagna and call that good. I might even try fish, actually, but I think that would have a negative effect. Oh, that has a positive effect. Good. Cool. All right, we'll do that. It's go time! Me and you cook, serve delicious today, stuff in our faces. I'm wearing my elastic pants. Let's go! Are they CCing me? They're CCing me in these emails. All these towel workers. You notice that certain foods can be beneficial, blah, 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 blah. Yes, we already know that. And there's a big potato upgrade available as well. It's too bad that we don't actually have that food. But we could consider a salad upgrade here. Is your salad line missing a little variety? 
How about refreshing your salad options with our new Thousand Island dressing? This classic topping goes great with your current salad line. Upgrade today! So this is a $900 upgrade and it only brings the menu price up to 10 I don't even know if that's really worth it, to be honest. Let's see. I could buy a new food, actually. I could buy a new food. That's not a bad idea. Let's have a quick look at what we can get here. Ice cream's not bad. It's only $4, though. Hmm. How about chicken breast? No, I can't afford that one. Burgers! Burgers could be good! You know what? I might pick up burgers. I'll go ahead and pick up burgers here, and we can we can upgrade that all the way up, up to a, a five-star item, which is awesome. Burgers are a good one, man. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and throw burgers in the active menu. We'll, we'll replace something else, and I'll show you guys what the burgers are all about. Let's take out our pasta menu option and throw in the burger. There we go. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. I think we're good to go, man. Don't have anything else going down. Let's go ahead and start off day eight. Let's do it. So we got burgers, lasagna, I want to say fried chicken, beer, and salad. Yes, indeed. Very nice. All right. Quick dishes to start off. Remnants of last night's insanity. Not bad. We do have the active detractor. I believe that's the morning food smell from some other option we got on our menu. It might even be the burgers, actually. I'm not 100% sure, but should be pretty good here. We will have the uh, rain. Oh, man. I am a freaking wizard. Oh, that was just on cue. That was beautiful. Yeah, we got the rain today, which means we should be experiencing a few more orders during the first rush hour. So hopefully things go pretty well here. Probably see my first burger order. Oh my god, I swear, I'm just, I'm thinking of saying these things as soon as they start happening. That is magical. So the burgers, you just gotta lay down the meat patties like so, and then as soon as those are cooked up, you get the prep stage, you're gonna get your two meats, you got your two bacons, and then your cheese. And it's MLBCT, which is pretty simple to deal with. For the, uh, for the burger orders, of course, that's gonna get a lot more complex as we go later on in the stages of the burger upgrades, but for now, it's, uh, pretty easy to take care of, and it's a really good menu option as well. In fact, we got an $8 tip for our first burger in the store, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, so here's our rush hour. Let's see what we got. Salad to start off. Cheesy leaves are out the door. And cheese, bacon, and croutons. There you go. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, trash compactor upgrade or the trash service upgrade, rather, so we gotta take care of all that stuff by ourselves. Not that big of a deal, though. The red is on the grill, just greens and carrots for you, and then we're gonna serrate that fish, and out you go. There we are. One more beer order, I'm guessing, on the top. No, just some greens and carrots on the salad, no problem. We got the meat, and only tomatoes on the red. So there we go, that's taken care of. Another fish gone. Out the door with you, Frando! Just fish today, holy cow, it's the fish hour here at Bears Beers. And there's Bears Beers right for you, my friend. Pass it on down. Spread the love. Oh, wait. We got to do these dishes. I was totally uh, spacing out on what was going on here. Ranch cheese bonga hype. The B-O-M-G. The full kit and caboodle right there for the for the salad order. Got to love it. All right. Here we are. We're going to take care of that. We're going to flush that toilet before we put the BLT on the bun. There you are, friend. Very good. Pretty solid rush hour, I'd say. Not bad at all. One fluid motion. We got it. Nice. Another two dollar tip there as well. We get the buzz back up to thirty-five percent. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Of course, the rain is helping us out quite a bit in that sense. Love to have a fish back on the menu, man. Unfortunately, fish suffers a, a lot of uh, menu rot, so not very, uh, not a very frequent contributor to the restaurant. Still does pretty well when it's on the when it's on the menu, though. So not bad, not bad overall. I'm gonna have to upgrade that, actually. I'm gonna have to upgrade that pretty soon, hopefully, it's gonna be able to avoid so much menu rot. That should be, like, a five-star item, shouldn't it? Fish is a, fish is a popular selection in five-star restaurants, I would say. Yeah, you never know. You never know what could happen. Got another thunderstorm going on here. Of course, it doesn't matter how long you wait for the, uh, or you wait to take the customer's order, so long as you actually get it before they, uh, before they get angry and leave. You're still gonna get a perfect order whether the bar is full or whether it's, you know, like, a sliver of the way down to the end of it, so... Not a lot of stress there, as long as you grab them before they take off. That's all that matters. It's good to, good, it's good to remember that, so you're not thinking you gotta, you gotta be stellar on the draw in order to make everything a perfect combo. You're not really perfect, you're just perfect in the eyes of your customers, and that's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. That's all that matters is the approval of strangers. <laughs> At least that would be 
what my ego tells me in regards to YouTube and Twitch. Ah, he brought it to a real place again. He's just being silly. He's got the original here, which I'm pretty sure is just going to be like a one of everything kind of deal on this meat patty. Let's see if I'm correct about that. We're going to have ourselves, yep, meat, lettuce, bacon, cheese, and tomatoes on the bun. Goody, goody gumdrops. Actually sounds really good right now. Gumdrops, not the burger. Gumdrops always sound wonderful. Jelly beans are just superior, though, let's be honest. The Lonely Patty's probably gonna just, just be a, uh, a meat patty on a bun. Nice and boring, just the way he likes it. Right, finish it up, there we go, we'll take care of that. Meat only on the bun, that is just so ridiculous. Perfect orders abound, here we go, friends! Keep those chicken dishes coming. Right, send out that beer, wait for the fish, there we go, we're gonna fry that up. Mm-hmm! We'll flush this toilet before I handle you, friend. Oh, ooh, oh, goodness, that was close. That was, uh, that was worrisome just a touch, but we're gonna be just fine. All right, BLT, BLT for you. I'm so glad that the option, or that the, uh, the input commands for that are actually BLT. Otherwise, I'd get so confused. No, it's fine. All right, there's that, 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 and then we got another beer out the door, friend. Yes! Mushrooms, tomato. Oh, God, I almost hit T for tomatoes. That would have been... Actually, I think I actually did hit the button, but luckily it didn't actually do anything, so... That saves that problem. And that's because it's not actually assigned to a menu command, so... No worries there. Of course, the dishwasher may have, uh, been the saving grace in that particular order right there at the tail end of it, so... Very good stuff. We might beat yesterday's perfect combo streak. We can get six more orders in two hours. It could happen. Could happen. Not likely, but it could. I'm shooting for the same amount, actually. 59... 59 two straight days. See if that see if that uh may end up going down. We only need three more. Three more. Come on, game. Come on, game. You know you want to toss a bone my way. Let's see it. Nice. There's a salad, ranch cheese. There you go. Keep on moving. Take care of the toilet. We're, we're clear, man. We're ready to go. Anybody up? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Who needs food? Show your hungry face. Yes. The brewski. Keep on moving, lady. See, that's how quick we are. Tell your friends. One more. One more. Come on. Come on. Right there at the end. Right there at the end. I know you want to do it. Come on. Oh, nice. Yes. The 59 again. Oh, that was great. Another perfect day. Fantastic. $450 today. That's not as much as I'd like, but we got $22 in tips as well, so it was okay. It was okay. No progress there. We are watching you. Until then, keep these tickets safe. We got two mysterious tickets. Interesting. And if another perfect day for 250 bucks. I'm gonna clean you out, Chef Risotto. Menu rot going down. I got an idea and you can invest in me. I got certified from all the schools. Let's start setting up bank accounts. Yeah. Should make sense at some point. Huh. Ah. Nachos upgrade and there's also a rat pesticide. Huh. Let's have a look at that. I don't think I've ever actually unlocked that. Let's cut down your rat traps by half with all of our new rat pesticides that's safe for humans and lethal for pests. I don't know if I need that. Rats are pretty easy to handle. I'll probably hold off on that one. Alright, can we upgrade anything on our menu at the moment? Salad is still the only real good one. Let's have a look at the, uh, the food rot we got going on at the moment. Probably chicken, yeah. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Place it with lasagna real fast. Still don't have the lasagna upgrade available, but maybe soon. Alright, so that looks like pizza to me. This is soda. This is ice cream, I want to say. And then this is a uh, baked potato. So, let's have a quick look at the foods again. I feel like ice cream might be a good one to pick up, but it is, again, it's still only $4 that we make from every single one. Pizza's $1,600, which would be a good one, but unfortunately it's too expensive for the time being. Uh, you know what? I might just... Hmm. I might get... I might get ice cream. Soup is a good one, too. Soup is tough, though. Soup is real tough to use. It's got a lot of, uh... It's got VIP allure for four-star restaurants. Big tipper for that one, and a rainy companion would be good, too. It's also a staple food. It takes long to cook. There's complex bits. The soup is extremely difficult to make. Let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys what's going on with the soup because the soup is ridiculous. So when you get a soup order, you got to do uh, 
chicken, you got bow time noodles, you got bodian cubes, and then when you get to the vegetables, you gotta take out the ingredient, and then you got a knife cut like that. So there's chicken noodle. I mean, it's not, it's not so terrible, it's just a lot more complex than most of the other menu options, so... It can, uh, it can be a doozy, and it also takes a long time to cook, so... Can often suck butts. So, bow tie noodles, boarding cubes, seasoning, and then you got tomatoes, carrots, and celery. There's that. You know, I might, I might consider using soup, actually. It's really... It's tough, but... Maybe we need something tough right now. I'm gonna purchase it. I'm gonna pick it up. Cause it, it costs, uh, it's actually like, it's a big tip item and it's good on the, uh, it's good on the menu. It's got a good menu price. We could take off, we could take off fish. Replace it with, with soup. Oh, actually, you know what, the, the, well, the fish is giving us a good buzz. So maybe we take off the lasagna and put the fish back on. That's good for us. I like that. Let's roll with that. Let's try this out. This is gonna be a tough day. But I do want to try out the soup, see if maybe I can, uh... Start learning a bit more of how to, how to make it quickly. So this, I'm not expecting a perfect day today. But... I'm hoping for it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my damnedest to get this going. Gray tail fish. And we'll get the fish upgrade pretty soon here as well. Do 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 do. Gotta love the music, man. It's so good. Alright, chicken bow tie noodles. Holding cubes and then celery. Give me a nice, uh, nice relaxing introduction to the menu item. That's that's nice for me. All right, noodles, cubes, seasoning, tomatoes, sa carrots, and celery. There we are. There's that taken care of. You know, I might be able to do this actually. I'm starting to get a bit more familiar with it. We got soup and we got burgers. This might be okay. I have a bit more confidence now. I'm hoping to get some tips on it as well. Meat, lettuce, bacon, cheese, and tomatoes. There you go, friend. Not tips, of course, by like, you know, words, but tips is in like actual money from the from the customers. This should be a, uh, a big tip, a big ticket, big tip item, so let's hope for the best there. All right, tomatoes. Of course, you don't actually have to switch over to this. I'm just making sure that I get the right things going here. Alright, there's that. We're gonna take this fish order. Very good. We're gonna get greens and carrots on you, my friend. There we go. We do have the dishwasher here, so that's gonna make that a little easier. My hands are shaking a little bit, actually. I'm getting kinda nervous about the, uh, about the soup options. That is kind of nerve-wracking. Alright, there we go. We're gonna take this one. We're gonna send that out. There we go. Uh, chicken and, uh, bow tie noodles, bullion cubes, and then celery is Y. There we go. We're gonna take this ranch, cheese, bacon, onions, and peppers. We're gonna take this beer order real fast. There we are, we got the salad, very good, and then we got the meat patties with the BLT, actually. There we go, so that's easy enough. There's that, very good. Ranch, cheese, bacon, and croutons. We got our work ticket for rodents. Mm-hmm. There we are, flush the toilet. Okay, this is, uh, not going bad, actually. I think it's helping us out quite a bit, actually, to, uh, to have so many menu options available, so it's not just soup being made over and over again during the, uh, during the rush hours. We got burgers and fish being made up in that area as well, so... Shouldn't be too too terrible to deal with. The lonely patty. We got the prep work on another lonely patty down here. Actually, this is an original. I should probably have known that. Should probably be paying attention to the things people say. That's kind of an important aspect of running a restaurant. Noodles, cubes, seasoning, tomato, carrots, and celery. There you are. It does take a. I mean, like even if you know exactly what's going into it, it does take a while to do still. So that is kind of a uh, kind of a difficult element of the of the concoction, but. Of course, once you, once you manage to make it, it is just cooking and then you just gotta be ready to send it out the door, so... Pretty, uh, pretty... Tolerable menu item, I guess. Alright. Got a 40% buzz going. These are going okay still so far here. We do have another rush hour coming up, so it's gonna be... Tough goings. For the remainder of the day. No problem, though. Think we'll, uh, think we'll be just fine. Keep it up! Alright, chicken, noodle, cubes, and then celery. Starting to remember all the menu, uh, or all the ingredient lists, actually. Of course, the soup is going to get insanely complex once we start upgrading it, but... But for now, it's, uh, it's tolerable, as I mentioned. It's... 
We'll get by with it. We'll be just fine. I'm getting as many tips as I'd like from it. People are getting a bit complacent with, uh, with the way things go here. They think I'm just going to be able to survive on menu prices alone. I'm not made of money, chat. I was going to say chat, I should say. I'm so used to pretending to be angry at Twitch chat. I apologize. I love you so dearly. Alright, here we go. Take care of this real fast. Get the red out the door, and then we got chicken noodles, cubes, and then celery. Good. Okay. Here comes second rush hour. Let's see if we can do it, man. No flaws so far. Let's keep this up. Get that out the door. We're gonna get that soup gone. There we are. We got two meat patties. There we are. And you can't actually cook too many meat patties. Like, you can throw on more than the customer requested, but... Of course, you can fix that by just, uh... Not putting them on the, uh... On the burger when it's being prepped, so... Not the worst case scenario when you do that, luckily. Alright, nearly burned that one. Take a few tomato, out the door you go. We got one meat patty on the grill for you. There it is, for the beer. Haven't had a single soup order during this rush hour, which is surprising to me. Just a lot of beer and fish from the from the folks today. The original is gone. There we are. Oh, there's our first soup, and we got that fish going out. Alright, cubes and then celery chicken noodle soup. Not that tough to do. I think we got that one. I might... No, I don't think I screwed it up. I think I got it. I think I got it. We got a lot of chicken noodle soup orders, actually, so that's making things kind of easy to deal with. Right, meat only on the patty. We did indeed get that soup order perfect. That's fantastic. We might beat the uh, previous day's record here, actually. We're on 52 and we still got a couple hours to go, so hopefully... Hopefully we can do this again. Alright, chicken, bow tie noodles, bouillon cubes, and celery. Another chicken noodle soup order. It's making it pretty simple for me, actually. They're, they're just kind of weaning me into the whole soup process, so... Not bad. Bacon, onions, and peppers. There we are. Yeah, we're gonna wait until we can send that out, and then we're gonna take care of the trash problem. Actually, might not beat the record from last time, unfortunately. We're gonna, we're gonna have ourselves a uh, whole bunch of chores at the tail end here, I guess. One meat patty for the original. It's MLBCT. The MLBCT of, for the original. Bowtie noodles, building cubes, seasoning, tomatoes. There's the soup du jour, the really fancy one. There we go. And then we got the MLBCT for the original. There it is. Now we got another beer here. We're closing in on that 59. We could hit it. Just two more orders, then we got it. But this is going to be the end of the day, so... Just some fish. It'll take us to 58, and I think we got the perfect day. As long as I don't send this out too early. As long as I don't hit that number one button too quick. There we go. Nice. An eight dollar tip to round us out. Nice. Not bad. 32 crumbs made to combo 58, and another perfect day with soup involved. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got some menu rot going on, we got a safety inspection coming up tomorrow, and we got a perfect day bonus right there. Very good. As of today, Sarasota Tower will be fighting back against robberies that have happened within and outside our tower. We are replacing our broken security cameras with brand new state-of-the-art equipment that should be ready within a few months' time. In the meantime, please be aware that any criminal activity should be immediately reported to tower security, and any details about the crime or criminal should be drawn on a notepad with pencils we will be issuing to all tenants in the tower. Thanks, and here's the more secure tower soon. Alright. We got air conditioning available to purchase as well, which is a pretty good option. In fact, I might just go ahead and buy that right now. Let's see what we, uh, let's see what the cost is that we're looking at here. Yeah, we can pick that up. That actually makes it so the customers stick around a lot longer before the, uh, before they decide to get pissed off about the order taking too long. But anyway, that'll do it for this episode of Cook, Serve, Delicious. Three perfect days. Not bad at all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you're enjoying the series. I'll see you next time.